Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode three of Carboo Exchange Live. Again, this was shot a month or two back, so the car boots were still very much alive. Uh, some great stuff here. Uh, a lot of stuff for my collection in this one, but still lots of stuff uh, for me to take to CX. So let's check out what I got. What's on your box set, mate? What's on your box set? Uh, three quid, So first thing I pick up, this is at the smaller car boot before I go to the bigger one, is this Columbo box set. Paid £3, some good trading on it. Okay, check out this haul. Oh yeah. It's quite a long clip, but I'm going to just let it run. But it'll be worth it when you see what I get. Oh. No, well, not that It's only going back to the air ambulance charity. Oh, right. Early start. <laughs> you give you the dodgy one. All oh, right. There. Yeah, look, you try. That one ain't got no handle. <laughs> How much is the Dreamcast? Them, they're five each. With the Dreamcast, yeah. yeah. I've got three of them, guaranteed working. I'll take both they're, of them. They've got the card. The other one there with all the stuff in here. Um, you can take both of these, Dad. Yeah. That's good. Ooh, I, I don't throw the one. I'll take that as well. Oh, well it just goes to that yeah. charity. What about the me two Mega Drives there? Oh, are they? Yeah. I've already sold the loads. I had uh, eight with me today. I'll, take, you I'll take them as well. Yeah. Well, leaves enough for you to make money on the internet. That's me. I've got loads on the internet. As you do. I can only do so many. I'm going to have to go to the car now. I'm going to have to go to the car now. To the car and back out of the Yeah. Going to help him to the car? I should be alright. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Alright, yeah. How much is this one? £2 box. Don't whack anything in it. There we go. Yeah. I'll carry that one separately actually, that one. Yeah, so 20, yeah, two, a free Dreamcast, sorry. Yep. Uh, two Mega Drives, 25 for them. That's a box. Didn't have the box that one. I've got them. Uh...
say I've got all of them, I'm going to bring the... I might do it just only next week, I might treat them and bring the table pat man and the table... Oh table right, table. yeah. We have a load. I've got 81 charity air ambulance charity shops. Every month, buying up with a load, this stuff comes in like that. Oh right. Yeah. I have customers, they always come every... I usually do three things, because I only live next door. I've been helping them make on this store. Right. So they'll come in and say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten there as well. Yeah, what, what so that was 20, uh, 25, 25, 35. Tism. Alright, oh, yeah. Yeah, Tism. How much is that? Sorry. Uh, I'll do it pretty quickly. Okay. There you go. You empty that so you may as well have that thing then. <laughs> well, you can, they'll always, always tell us even if it's not. Okay, so that's three quid. Uh, I think maybe it's a. I had about 40 of them this one. Oh, right. The disc ones. Oh, the sand stuff, yeah. yeah. I had more consoles than this. I, I bet you do, yeah. 20 with me this morning. Okay, so 30. 5, 36, 37, 38, 38, 20, 20. Thank you, cheers. Thank you very much, Bob. Cheers. I'm going home now. Go on. Yeah, they <laughs> all sold up. Oh no, I didn't bring a lot because I'm helping in. Yeah. More collections are all good. Alright, let's have a look in that. Yeah, you can. I need to get because I know it's, when we go to turn it in, we need to rip them for Oh yeah, it's a nightmare. It. And I haven't pressed it down all, so I know it's ain't going to turn it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't got the manual with it still. Oh right, yeah. How much you got on that? I'll do it the same. Five. Five. No, I'll take that. There's all your bits to show. Oh the yeah. Aerial bits. Everything that's on there. Yeah. Need. Okay. So absolutely crazy deal there. As you can probably tell, I've got quite a few consoles there. Uh, I apologise for the camera. Sometimes it got hooked under my top when I was bending over. So I've got three Dreamcasts, five of each. I've got two Mega Drives, five of each. Uh, they both came with two pads a piece, so let's see four pads in total there. The games are a pound each, so bought all the ones I needed for my collection. I think the only one I already had was Aladdin. Uh, and the rest, I believe, had no manuals, so I didn't bother with them. Uh, picked up that Blue DS. And I was about to leave, and I checked that PS1 there. Uh, not original controllers, that's your PS2 controllers or the Power Pack. But uh, just it's nice to have one with a box, so I picked that up for another five or I'm not sure what that bloke had in the morning, but I assume he had some alright stuff. I think Stuart 2 to uk picked up uh, most of the Saturn stuff, the nice Saturn stuff. I'm watching this back, I actually noticed the chap standing at the table actually buys uh, two PSPs, I believe. Not sure how much they were, but yeah, crazy deal there. What you got on the Wii stuff? It's 25 for all of it. Alright. Does work. Yeah. There's two like speakers and oh, yeah. things up there. Oh, right. I'll have to have 20 if yeah. you want it. You don't want to have to take it on to do it. Okay. It all does work. Yeah, I'll have a think about it. Thank okay. you. So this woman had a Wii console and a Wii U console. So not terrible price. She said 25 originally and then she sort of went down to 20 straight away. I think there was a Wiimote there as well on the wires. But yeah, about the screen, I wasn't really interested. How much is your DS? I'm trying to get a penny for it. Okay. First slice, there's dirt. We're not putting the curtain on this one. What, put your clothes on there? What, what curtain you put that? I don't suppose you've got the charger for it, have you? Oh, bloody no. That's what we do at home. <laughs> yeah. Very nice condition pink DS here. Uh, no charger with it. 
so I, I initially put it down, but I uh, I do pick it back up and we work out a deal with it. So let's check it out. You're taking it less because there's no charger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do five on it. Uh, do eight with this game. Go on then. <clears throat> so I ended up paying eight pound fifty for that game and that DS. Good price there. I did ask her about the Wii games. She wanted two pound each, so a little bit high there for me personally. I don't think there was much credit in them, so I didn't bother picking them up. So a good find there. How much your DS is, mate? One fifty, yeah. So another crazy deal here. Pick up them three DS consoles. Wasn't expecting them to work. He only wanted 150 a piece. And surprisingly, the 3DS does work. Had to add a stylus to it that was missing and they're all missing the chargers, but not a problem. The black DS worked fine. It was just the DSi which didn't work. The screen was all jumbled, but I'm not gonna complain considering the 3DS worked. And you probably saw how much I got in trade on that at CX. Crazy stuff kicking off. What you got on that one? Um, Dad, how much I sold the buddy game for? Yeah, three quid. Three quid. Oh, got Ratchet and Clank. Got... Oh, Last of Us. Yeah, that's, sorry, I'm just going to say that. About the Last of Us. <laughs> how much of the PS4 one? Uh, I do have one, four pound. Yeah, four pound. Four on that one. Should we do ten for them, them ones? Uh, oh, no. Bring off then. I think it's just a uh, quid off actually, innit? Yeah, 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 go on. Then. Oh, how much is your memory card? I did that for a pound. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank you, Thank cheers. You. At last, finally got a copy of The Last of Us on PS4. Been looking for this game for since they remastered it. I'm not going to pay CX's overinflated price for this one, uh, even if I was paying voucher. I think at the time of recording this, it's 22 quid in CX. A little bit too much for me. Picked up the Ratchet and Clank game, Bully, good trading on them. Uh, and that Dreamcast memory card, very nice. Should have picked up that Need for Speed game on PS4. I think that was like £10 trading, but you know. I'm not going to stand there and start checking stuff in front of him. But yeah, some good stuff there. How much are the wee bits? Or oh, you got the console as well? We ain't got a console, have we? No. No, That's it's just the bits. Have one for one factor. Okay. Got a wee mo some other bits here. One pound fifty, not gonna say no to that. Uh wee stuff. Still get good credit on it. Not gonna leave it there. Yeah. I suppose you'd sell the controllers separately, would you? What are you looking for? Just this one, really. Yeah, yeah. What are you looking for? 
I don't know. You may not be, I can't review it. What did you have? What did you have? Oh, that's the, I mean, that's all working, that's about 50 quid for the whole lot. Oh, right. Yeah. Could go on that, probably the fibre. Yeah. All working properly. Yeah, I think it's missing the USB thing on the end there, though. That's in this bag. <laughs> Could be in there, I think. How much are we about one quid? Oh, the thingies. One, yeah. Do three quid for it. Okay. Yep. You want some change? Yes. Yeah, somewhere. My bag of change. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox 360 here, old one, wanted 50 quid for it, a bit too much for me. Managed to get a 360 controller off him, this wired one. Uh, a lot better trading on these than the wireless ones, not sure why that is. Paid 3 quid for it, he wanted a 5 originally, knocked him down to 3 quid. Because it was missing the breakaway cable, but I had some of them at home, so no worries there. Welcome everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, I pretty, I'd say I smashed out the park again, um, let me know if I did. Uh, just a couple of bits I didn't show on camera. Um, we Fit You. Now, I wasn't going to get this, but she said 50p, and I thought I'll just get it for a case swap at first. But um, yeah, check CX, and it's £8, as you can see, just wherever I'm going to put it on the screen. So yeah, bought one for 50p. And a couple of things, I actually took a picture of these by accident instead of filming. Uh, just a dirty ass black Wiimote um, for two quid and a 360 controller. Thumbsticks are really knackered, so probably won't take to see it because I'll probably just keep it on me with a black thing. I'm, I mainly bought it for that because I got a black one at home with no with no doodah on it. So yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching, and let's go on to what I got from CX. Bye bye. Go. Welcome back everyone. So, you know the score. It's all gone to CX. So, I spent, you've probably seen this, £78. It got me £188 of 40p at CX. But, I kept the three Dreamcasts, I kept the two Mega Drive games, um, the box PS1, uh, or <laughs> most of the Mega Drive games, uh, the Last of Us game on PS4, and the Dreamcast VMU. So, take all that away. All that stuff was about 35 quid, so, you know, not bad. So I spent £185 in CX, so it cost me 10p for this stuff here, and I've got some fantastic stuff, some proper retro stuff here. A lot of Xbox original there. Um, I was just on a Xbox kick at that time, and I just saw these games and I thought, I'm going to see them again in that sort of good condition. So, what do we get? Move that way. Start off with some of the smaller bits. Um, so, never played this game. Love the cartoon. Uh, this was £8. It's DuckTales Remastered. It's all there. Lovely condition. £8. Um, it scanned for it at tenner actually. And he was like, oh. So he had to put it for it as 8 because they put the price up. Um, it did come out on Wii U, physically, but only in America, and probably Japan. Uh, I mean, I would have preferred that cop a copy of that, but this is the one I got, so yeah. Looks like, it's actually a good platformer, but uh, yeah, I look forward to giving that a try. Uh, PSB game, sort of just picked this up just to fill out the, uh, uh, to spend the last of the credit. Uh, but it's one I've been looking at for for a while, and it is Ratchet and Clank Size Matters for the PSP. Now I have seen that you see I see this all the time, but it's always the greatest hits platinum version, and I'm not really a fan of those that grey sort of case. So I thought for two pound fifty, buy one. So that was that. Um, got a Master System game here. It was fifteen pounds. Now. I'm hopefully, eventually I will get a better condition one of this. But I just saw it and I thought, ah. Uh, I sort of just, uh, I felt like I had to buy something from this CX. Because we drove 
there to get something else and it turns out it was a bust. It was in shit condition. Um, it wasn't that far. I think it was like sort of Nottingham way. So it was about a half an hour trip in the car. But I sort of, I sort of was like, Ugh, I need to buy something from here. So I bought this. Like I say, it's a Master System game. It's Ghouls and Goblins for the Master System. And it's probably not going to come off on camera, but it looks pretty good condition, you'd probably say. But the manual is really dirty and yellow. I suppose it's not that bad, actually. I'm probably just blown out of proportion. But yeah, that was 15 quid, which is actually not a bad price for that one. So, not too bad for that. Snap that up. Right, this next game is a PS1 game, but can you tell what is wrong with this? It's American. <laughs> and I knew that before I bought it. But um, yeah, I don't know why I bought it really. I just sort of thought, I saw it and thought, ah, that's interesting to see an American game in there. Uh, the chap, say, it's actually a really nice condition. I was going to mention it to them in there and I thought, oh, I can't bother, I'll just buy it. Um, but yeah, for a fiver, I thought, I'll grab that. Nice double disc dual case one. Interesting. Next up, Xbox One game. Six pounds this was. I've been meaning to buy this for a while. And it got to get dropping and dropping and dropping. And it got to six quid and I thought, it's that's the time to buy for that. And it's Battlefield One. I mean, chances are I'll see this at the car boot some point in the future for like a couple of quid. But I was really looking forward to playing it. Uh, I've completed it. It's actually a really good game. Um, it's not... I've played a couple of multiplayer matches on it. I'm not really into the multiplayer. I buy these sort of Call of Duty and stuff like that just for the single player. So that obviously the new Black Ops 4 is out of the question. No single player. Shove that right up your arse, Activision. But yeah, so Battlefield 1. And it's not one continuous story, actually. It's like five different stories broken up. Um, and there's one where you're in a tank. That's a good one. There's one where you're flying a plane. Again, that's a great one. And then the other three, I was... Yeah, I thought they were a bit... They are all right. It could be six stories. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, graphics. Incredible on that game. Anyway, this is not a review, so I'll stop there. Right, move on to these original Xbox games. And these are pretty high-end titles here. You don't get much more expensive than this on the original Xbox. And this is a couple which are sort of in the £50 mark. But these are, these are, all, these are in lovely condition. So first up, we've got Star Wars Republic Commando for £8. Fantastic condition. The bloke was saying that there's no scratches on the disc, there's no finger marks on the manual, no crease marks. It's basically like new. So I played that, I bought that back in the day, then got it for like 99p when they were clearing out Xbox original games at Game Station. Um, it's a good game. I believe it's a first person shooter. I could be wrong. I'm sure it's a first person shooter. Mm, it doesn't say. I think it is. From what I remember. So happy to pick that one up. Uh, another one here I had back in the day. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's another one after this, which I also had back in the day. Um, Shemu for the Xbox, £18 with the DVD. Very nice condition. Again, we all know Shemu. The second one, um, obviously. Doesn't have English voices, sort of, uh, just subtitled. Not a problem, you know. Most people prefer Japanese voices anyway, if the game was made in Japan. Um, I'm more of a fan of the first one. Um, not sure why, I just think it's uh, just slightly better, really. <laughs> but yeah, Shemu, £18. Next up, we've got... A series which is now um, a Nintendo uh, property. I believe they bought it. Um, and uh, there's quite a few which haven't been released over here. I think the last one did, but I'm sure there's a couple of others which never got released. Could be wrong. But it is Project Zero Crimson Butterfly Director's Cut, £18 again. And again, 
bloke was saying, he doesn't think this has really been used. The incredible condition. Um, I played the one on uh, Wii U. It's uh, it's pretty creepy, I will say, and it works really well with the uh, the gamepad. I believe you use it sort of like a, like a camera, um, which is obviously the perfect fit, you could say, for that console. But uh, yeah, the second one is sort of it's on a lot of consoles. I think it's on. I was going to say GameCube then, but I don't think it is. It's on the Wii. I know that. Now, that's quite pricey actually on the Wii. Don't have that on the Wii, but it's one I'm going to be looking out for. Uh, the most expensive of the Xbox games I got here. Uh, I, I had this back in the day. Didn't really think much of it, but the. Um, so I've got it back now. I'm going to give it another try. It is Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. Built on the Halo engine, I believe. And again, fantastic condition. So yeah, 35. It's, this is one which is going to keep climbing, I think. Because it's such a... Look, a it's quite quirky. It's a quirky game, you could say. Um, and I'll probably give it a second chance. Um, I think you can play it on 360. They made it backwards compatible. Whether it'll ever make it on the one... Uh, might do, might even push the price up even more from 35. Um, but yeah, grabbed it while I could. A funny story about that in the next game. So the last Xbox game I got was Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu is it? I believe that's how you say it. Maybe. And I believe this is a first-person sort of not not first-person shooter, but sort of actiony horror game. Again, fantastic condition. So happy to grab that. Twenty five. It's about it's about bang on the price at the moment. Again, they are releasing a HD remastered version of this. So whether that will push the price up or down, we'll see. So yeah, great stack of Xbox original games there, all in excellent condition. Xbox is another one of those consoles which is slowly creeping up. A lot of these high-end titles, just in the future, they're going to be the ones which are going to be a pain in the ass to find. So, the last thing I got. This is a fantastic find. And this is actually... And I'll mention this. If you watch 2 to UK, I'm sure you all watch 2 to UK. Um, I bought this from his local store. Because he was going on about... They had a lot of... Uh, great good condition Super Nintendo games in and I don't know if this one come in like recently or not but I managed to pick it up great condition can't remember how much I paid for it I think it was oh sorry I got the receipt here so it's £48 it's a Super Nintendo game one I've been after for quite a lot quite a while never find it in my sort of condition or price range so obviously using vouchers was perfect and it is the mighty secret of Evermore. And as far as condition goes, this is in great condition. So happy to have this. Cartridge, lovely condition. Got the manual. Precautions. And, and, the map slash poster. In great condition. I don't think it's even been unfolded. No, it looks, looks uh, very new, that does. So, yeah. Incredible find for me, personally. One of what? Because I love my RPGs, and this is one I've just been after for a while. Don't think it's been ported to anything. So, if you want to play it, you have to play it on the SNES. And here it is, in my possession right now. And I'm so happy to have that. Um... And this is what makes CX so good. Taking shit, get this. So that's that. So anything I wish should have mentioned on the car boot. Uh, the three DSs for one fifty each, crazy. Um, I picked them up and I thought, you know, if one works, you know, I've made my money. And I thought, this 3DS is no way going to work. It's no way going to work. And I get back, plug it in, power's up, fine. Nothing wrong with the screens. I was just like, oh my god. 
Uh, plug the game in it, loads up fine, crazy. Um, the black DS, the screen had started to come away from the thingy. But I managed to push it back in and clip back down, so that was uh, lucky. So trade them two in. The white one was obviously, that was fucked. Um, there was like lines going through the screen. I've got just here actually. Okay, there's no, there's no power on it, but here it is. Doesn't work. There's like lines running through the screen. It's fucked basically. Um, but I'll just keep hold of all these broken ones and then either sell them as a job lot on, um, or just give them to my mate who fixes shit. You know, no good to me basically. Um, what else did I mention? Uh, the stuff, the stall I got all the the Dreamcast, the Mega Drive consoles and stuff. So I say kept most of that. I think there's one game I already had, which was Aladdin. But uh, I know you can that can that sells pretty good. So I'll probably take that to a game show at some point. Um, so I've not tried the Dreamcasts. I'm not sure if they work, but for a five reach, uh, the Mega Drive. Both came with two controllers at each. That was quite nice. So I don't know why he had it in the morning. I know two UK bought some Saturn games off him. We've seen that video if you watch his channel. Um, some nice set, but he said he had tons of stuff. So what what he had was anyone's guess. But uh, yeah, he had some real nice stuff. Well, not real nice stuff, but good fodder and stuff. Uh, there was like that Wii. There was Smash Bros in there. I found that bag, which obviously ten pound trade in. Yeah, just some awesome stuff. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to mention? Um, no, I think I've mentioned everything. So, keep CX in. It's the way forward. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next CX Comic Exchange. Goodbye.